Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, welcome to any new viewers. This is a reading for Cancer, my beautiful Cancers, Sun, Moon, Rising, Cancer. This is all about how your person of interest is currently feeling about you. So if there's a particular person you have in mind and you're interested in uh, knowing what they're feeling, what their deeper feelings are, whether or not that is in line with what um, they're showing you or what comes across and what their next action or moves are going to be, then please keep on watching. Now, of course, if you um, enjoy the reading, don't forget to like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And feel free to check out your other placements as well or the sign of your person if you know what that is. Okay, and now I'll just show you what's on the bottom of the deck as well. We have the hanged man here. So I think it's safe to say that this has taken a little bit of time to uh, get off the ground, but something very, very interesting is coming, I have to say. Now, when we look at how your person is seeing you, so how you come across to your person at the moment, we have the page of pentacles here. And this is going to kind of be interesting with what I see as um, your person's next move or what, what their next kind of action is going to be. Because what I'm thinking is that you have actually reached out to this person. It's almost feeling like you've kind of done what you can do. You've made like a little bit of a move, let's say. It hasn't been a huge move, but it's been a move nonetheless. So you've either reached out to this person or offered this person something. There could even be like a little bit of a gift exchange here. It could even be like, you know, a suggestion to talk more, to meet up, to... Um, kind of get get things going or get things moving I suppose um, it's also like you've almost been the bigger person in a way in terms of reaching out and I do think that you've you've done that and so you've just kind of left the ball in their court at this stage I do also think that you've had to do this because the person um, is not great at initiating things to be honest um because they like to really take their time this is not someone who is going to make a very quick decision it's not that they can't ever make a decision or can't ever get things moving it's just that there's no rush there is absolutely no rush with this person they're not feeling like desperate to to reach out or get anything moving they're just kind of plodding along and they're kind of happy with things the way they are at least that's how it's been up until this point so you've had to reach out to them. Now, they actually do appreciate this, okay? They do appreciate this because it's almost like they've been waiting for some kind of signal or some kind of sign. Um, they want to wait to hear what you have to say and what your feelings are before they reveal anything. And for some reason, for whatever reason, they do seem to have some kind of a wall up they seem to be quite guarded this could be because of something that has happened in the past with them this could be some baggage that they have from like past relationships this could even be um something that has happened between the two of you in the past but really they are feeling a little bit um defensive almost they're not so open as they would ordinarily be they have that wall up and you are trying to do certain things, say certain things, reach out to this person in a way that can sort of start to chip away or bring that wall down. And what's really fascinating here is that even though they're coming across as so almost defensive, standoffish, not willing to come to you, um, waiting for you to come to them or waiting for people to come to them. What lies beneath is something quite different because we've got the chariot here. And this is really at the heart of the reading. This is at the heart of how they are feeling and what they want to do. And deep down, they really want to initiate. They want to make a move. They want to get things going. They want to reach out. They want to talk to you. They want to reciprocate what you have given them as well. So it's really fascinating that they've got this burning desire to do that deep down. 
because the chariot is really all about really moving forward bravely, courageously, um, also wanting to achieve a victory, success. Um, this person may be, I have to say, a little bit of a perfectionist or have kind of rules in terms of the way they want things to go. And when it's not 100% the way they want it, they just procrastinate, unfortunately. But deep down, they do have this kind of drive. They're waiting for the go-ahead. They're waiting for the go-ahead from you. So if you have not reached out yet, if you have not spoken to them yet, um, I would say that that's what they're waiting for. And then um, you're really going to see a change in this person's behavior. We have fire energy here. Um, Aries Leo Sag, we've got more cancer energy here, but really, I mean, all signs are represented. We've got earth energy too, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So could be dealing with, with anyone um, really, but strong water, strong fire, strong earth. This person is actually gaining confidence from dealing with you, from speaking to you, from this connection, whatever it may be. They are gaining confidence from it. Perhaps you're actually helping them get out of their shell a little bit more. You're doing it in like a not very aggressive way. You're doing it in a gentle way, in a soft way. They really like that because it's helping build them back up. So mm, it is making me feel like something went down. Something went down in this person's past to make them like this, to make them have this wall up, to make them close themselves off, to make them procrastinate or wait so much before making a move with someone. You're helping them kind of change that and actually gain more confidence. I feel that this person likes the way you look together. <laughs> Very superficial, but from a looks perspective, this person um, likes you, likes, likes that aspect of this. That could also be what's helping give them confidence. When they think about you two together or think about you by their side, they like how that looks. They like the, the external kind of appearance of that. And they also like the confidence that that brings them. Something holding this person back is the three of swords, this heartbreak, this card of heartbreak, disappointment, sadness. So either you have experienced a disappointment with this person in the past, the two of you together, or again, it is in their, in their past, recent enough that it's still having an effect on them. So someone else, this person's had their heart broken, basically, and it's contributing to this wall that they've built around themselves. It's what is making their defensiveness so heightened. It's, it's a trauma for them. It's a trauma. They just don't want to go through that again. When we look forward to what their actual next move is going to be, um, this is the reason why I think you are really helping them overcome, overcome this issue. Because we've got the Ace of Pentacles. This is all about a new beginning. This is all about making a solid offer, making an expression, a truthful expression of feelings. And it may be done through reciprocating what you have already done for this person. Small offer, big offer. So whatever you have done to reach out to this person, to try and break down that wall, to um, make a connection with them, it's going to be reciprocated, but reciprocated tenfold. 
It's like your investment has paid off with this person. Your investment has paid off. This could even be the exchanging of gifts. We are at that time of year. Um, and they, their actual physical gift that they give you might blow you away. Or you weren't expecting something as, as nice or, or as impressive as what they gave you. But ultimately, this is, this is a very happy, happy card, happy sign, and the promise of that new beginning. And the sense that finally we are going from being closed off, procrastination, to really, really opening up. And it feels very joyful. I think this person is going to feel like a real... Um, real burden or weight is is lifted off their shoulders because finally they can move forward finally they they don't have to hold back anymore beautiful i'm gonna leave it there cancer i hope you enjoyed that reading if you did don't forget to like and subscribe i really appreciate it thank you so much for watching I wish you all the best and I hope to see you all in the next video.